Good morning, it's day 47 and uh, the weather outside is filthy. The forecast said it was going to be really bad and it's even worse. And the forecast is getting worse as well. So um, we are hunkering down in a shipping container. I will show you around. A nice little accommodation here where we've got very good shelter. So um, we've um, hunkered down on here and riding it out. So we'll be sitting here for the day, probably um, waiting, waiting out the, the worst of the weather and then tomorrow it's uh, supposed to be getting better and the rest of the week should be better. So we'll be uh, on the trail again, hopefully from tomorrow. Oh, things have changed again as they do. So um, just making arrangements for the kayak uh, for the canoe down down the Wanganui River, trying to coordinate everybody and and also the weather. So um, that's been a bit difficult. So we've changed it again. So that I've delayed the um, canoe trip to the fifth of December, um, so that uh, we can let this weather pass and uh, the river to go down, and also to um, hook up with some other hikers that, that are coming through uh, and going to be there on on that day. So. Hello, Ozzy. Hello. Come here. Come on. Hello, ostrich. There's a good drumsticks you got there. <laughs> Good morning, it's uh, day number 48 today, so uh, yesterday evening we got a little break in the weather and so we decided that we would uh, peel off a quick uh, 10 k's up this road towards Ofango and then get a lift back to the, um, to the canoe hire place uh, to camp for the night. So we did that uh, and then got dropped off at the same spot this morning, so we're going to have a bit of an, an easier day, so we're going through to Ofango or just past it um, and camp there. And today the weather is probably better than it was in general yesterday, but uh, still, as you can see, not perfect. Uh, but next couple of days it should uh, should improve drastically. So uh, yeah, should be a relatively easy day. My only problem is that I now have shin splints in my right shin and uh, every step is incredibly painful so I'm trying to nurse that as much as possible and Jackie another um, TA hiker has given me lots of good tips on uh, stretches and stuff she's a, a rehabilitation therapist so uh, she's given me lots of helpful advice hopefully I can I can walk through this because I don't really want this to stop me Okay, made it into the Tongariro forest, so uh, we got to our little campsite and um, set up the tent as you can see, ready for, for some sleep. So um, it's been a bit of a drab day, I haven't taken a lot of footage because it's been bucketing down with rain pretty much all day. So. Uh, we just got here, we, well we stopped in Ofango for a while at the cafe there and just waited out some of the rain and then came out here once the the, uh, the rain had subsided so just managed to get the tent up and um, in relative dry so that bodes well. I'll just show you around the campsite, we're right beside the Whakapapa River, so there's a bridge here and here comes the, and the the river so we've got to go over the bridge tomorrow and through the forest ahead there um, and do the 40 second traverse good morning uh, day 49 just woken up just got some breakfast ready and a cup of coffee 
and the day doesn't look too bad. It's certainly a lot better than it has been over the last couple of days. So let's have a look around. A few low clouds in the morning, but lots of blue up there. So happy about that. Um, my uh, leg is still sore, but uh, we'll see how it goes once we get warmed up and get moving a little bit. I'll let you know. I hope they've got those numbers wrong. Should be less than that. I think we divert off the 40 second traverse but before the end. I don't want to do another 33 k's. Here's my first sight of Tongariro and Narahoe. Up over those tomorrow. And there is Ruapehu with the tops in the clouds. Alright, I've just had uh, a lunch break and uh, feeling a little bit re-energized so the day is improving um, my only problem is this pain in my leg which is just not going away every step is incredibly painful now but then again it's only another 15 k's to go today and then I'll be done for the day I can put my leg up but uh, I did want to go and do the Tongariro crossing tomorrow, but I'm seriously starting to question the wisdom in doing that. Um, it's at least 25 k's of fairly steep terrain um, to get to somewhere where I can camp, um, if there's room there. And uh, I'm yeah, not sure if I can do that or not, but. Uh, I'll uh, reassess once I've had a bit of a rest at, at the campground and uh, or maybe tomorrow morning and decide then. Going yeah, through a real crisis at the moment because this pain is just starting to get on top of me. It was okay and manageable in the first half of the day, but um, oh, it's just yeah, getting worse. And I don't know if I can go on. It would be absolutely devastating to, to pull out, so I don't know what I'm going to do, I really got no idea whether it's possible to push on or whether I just have to pull out. I mean, I've made arrangements for all the uh, canoes and, and um, the other hikers that are dependent on me being there, you know, so they can go on the, uh, on the canoe trip and... Uh, yeah, there's a barrel of food back at the um, canoe client, so uh, lots of logistical nightmares, but I just don't know if I can do it. Uh, yep, this is the trail. Yeah, first uh, significant river crossing. Although this will be the second one, I think, where I'll get my shorts wet, so... Um, hmm, we'll plan this out carefully, because this is getting a little bit dodgy. I made it safely across. Definitely got the shorts wet though. It was a bit dodgy in places, but uh, yeah, safe enough. Alright, off this way. I am officially over this track. I've had enough. Shit. When is it going to end? Oh! Bye! I'm sure you can't see the steepness of this, but this is very, very steep and very muddy. And it's a nightmare, it just keeps on going up and up and up. This is Tipo Redoubt, a defensive uh, 
installation built by Tikuti uh, to defend this area. And here is the lower redoubt, the matching cousin of the one up the hill. Well, I just hobbled into uh, Tongariro Holiday Park and uh, barely made it here. It was probably the worst day I've ever had on trail. It was a nightmare. That way only uh, Corker's, uh, Coker's trail was just hideous. Um, particularly with with an injury, carrying an injury didn't didn't, uh, didn't help, but the track was ridiculous. Um, and uh, my ankles all swollen up, my lower legs swollen up, um, I'm, I just hobbled in, into this place. Um, and uh, the um, proprietors were just wonderful, <laughs> they just saw me stagger in and they've looked after me. I just uh, broke down in tears on, on, at the reception because I was just completely and utterly exhausted. So uh, they've been looking after me, they've uh, uh, unlocked the spa pool for me, so I'm going to go and have a spa and they're going to give me some ointment for my, for my leg. Um, but I've had to make the, the hard, hard call uh, not to do the Tongariro crossing tomorrow. Um, the trail takes a huge big diversion away from Taumaranui out east again just so that it can do the Tongariro crossing. Um, yeah, but I just cannot do it. it. It would be foolhardy for me, it would be dangerous and I don't think I would enjoy it um, when I'm in intense pain every step. So, um, so I'm not going to do that. Um, uh, instead, I'm going to see if I can hitchhike through to National Park, hold up there for uh, a couple of days and rest. And then hopefully I might be able to make the, the two day walk out to Fokahara to meet the uh, canoe people out there. So that's the rough plan at the moment, so uh, we'll see how that goes. Well, uh, today is day 50 on the trail, so uh, it would have been really nice to make uh, the 50 milestone a real, really special day, and that's what I had in mind uh, doing the Tongariro Crossing on day 50, it would have been lovely. Um, that's where I should be, right over there, um, between Narahoe and Tongariro, you can just see there. But uh, this leg has meant that I can't do that, so I'm sitting here in National Park, um, resting up uh, and hoping that this will heal in, in a couple of days. Um, and uh, I'll take it from there. So uh, day 50 and 51 I'll be sitting here, um, hopefully my uh, leg will be well enough after that to be able to do a two day walk, it's mostly road walk, through to Whakahara and then I can meet up with the, the canoes there and, and carry on to Whanganui. It will be nice having five days sitting, sitting down, not having to do any walking, but uh, yeah I just hope I can get there. Good morning, uh, day number 52 and uh, I am just walking through National Park heading off uh, in the direction of Whakahoro uh, to meet the kayak so um, I will be, it'll, it'll take me two days to get there so camping halfway along the way and uh, hopefully today and tomorrow should be relatively easy um, Bit of trail walking but mostly road walking I think and um, should be fairly gentle gradient of my uh, leg has uh, improved I've been sitting up for two days uh, resting it keeping it elevated and um, uh, trying to let the swelling come down my whole lower leg and foot swelled up uh, it's come down quite a bit now it's not perfect but it's um, it's okay, it's comfortable enough to walk on, it's not too painful and hopefully these two days should be easy enough. And then I get five days of sitting down on the canoe. So. Walking through the Urua forest. It's a little bit desolate feeling up here, but it's a nice example of, uh, of the Alpine 
the central plateau forest. to the Ritaruki monument right here this is where I'm gonna to camp tonight so uh, uh, it's been 27.7k so far today and I am well and truly done my legs are screaming at me my left leg is now starting to go out and in sympathy with my my right leg so uh, yeah lots of pain but um, yeah, it's been generally a pretty miserable day um, the rain has been incessant, it's only just stopped now, so uh, I'm very relieved with that. I'm going to get up my tent, it's still early in the day, but I'm going to get the tent up and uh, get settled in while the, the rain has is, is, is stopped. Well, I'm all set up in my tent now and um, lying down, having a bit of an afternoon snack and uh, keeping my feet up, so uh, having a bit of a rest. So. The, the rain has stayed away, so I'm actually thinking I might be able to dry out some of my clothes. Which would be nice not to have to get into cold, wet clothes first thing in the morning. Um, yeah, and hopefully the rain will, will stay away. And hopefully tomorrow will be a slightly easier day and I'll be able to get through to Fokohoro. It's all road walking, so um, if I can get to there, then it'll be all sweet. I'll be able to get into the canoe and I'll be happy until Whanganui. So, fingers crossed for that. Good morning. Uh, day 53. And... Um, is howling with wind out there. Bit of a lull right at the moment, but um, generally it's been howling, and uh, I'm not in any particular hurry at the moment. So uh, I'm just lounging about in bed. I'll have a cup of coffee and some breakfast soon, and um, get going. It's not raining, so at least there's something. Uh, but it's going to be blowing a gale pretty much all day, and um, yeah. It's not going to be pleasant out there, but it should be fairly easy. I'm on the road again, so uh, here we go. The wind is still howling, and um, it's cold, but at least it's not raining. And the forecast is reasonably positive for lack of rain today, so um, that's a good thing. And um, yeah, just more of this. Uh, all day today until we get to Fokohara bunk, bunk room and then we can shelter from the wind and uh, should be there fairly early in the afternoon so pleased about that be able to put my leg up again and have a nice long rest hey guys I just realized today is the 1st of December so now it is officially summer. Yeah. And this is the first day on the trail I've ever worn gloves. Hmm. Something wrong there. So the wind is a little bit calm at the moment, but uh, it has picked up incredibly strong. Um, there's a one of these poplar trees is blown down across the road a little bit further back and uh, there's no way vehicles can get through here so I don't know how they're going to get the uh, kayaks through to us tomorrow so that's a worry yeah I made it to Fokohoro my leg held out just heard that the road has been cleared first guy that I came across and told him told about it he, Organised a chainsaw and went and chopped down the tree. He's cleared the road, so we're not going to be held up here after all. And here's Rick waiting for me. I bet he's got a coffee for me. This is the uh, Fakahoro bunk room where I'm staying tonight. There's just a, a bunch of bunks in there. It's an old uh, schoolhouse, and there's um, some other 
bunches of tents of uh, school groups there that are coming through here doing some kayaking and biking.